some of the most intriguing pieces in the Buxheim organ book are the 18 short preludes. These pieces represent late medieval organists grappling with the idea of creating music without a model, without a vocal motet or chanson, without a dance form, without a pre-existing cantus firmus, out of thin air, so to speak. And what they do is use texture as a way of organizing the music. Not unlike what their German descendants two and three centuries later will be doing in alternating improvisatory sections with more imitative fugal sections to create an overarching structure. Of course, we're at the very beginning of the prelude genre. And so these are the first attempts, fortunately preserved in notation. We've heard earlier in this series the preambula of the Illeborg tablature, dated 1448. And now, probably some six years later, the Buxheim collection includes more developed preludes that may have served as intonations since they have the name of the main pitch, Preambulum Super Me. Preambulum super la, prelude on E, prelude on A. I'm going to play for you now the preambulum super me based on the note E. And I'll be using a simple principle for, for this. You'll notice different groupings in the opening figuration, which is just one line of music, creating a sort of improvisatory effect, not unlike what we heard in the Illeborg preludes, the groupings of four, five, and six. Then this will give way to an accompanied melody, where the left hand will have two note chords the right hand, dotted rhythms and figuration. Like other of the Buxheim pieces, we have indications for ornaments to be added. And in this case, it's a little hook appended to the stem of the note. We don't know exactly what type of ornament should be done, but something needs to be added there and presumably could be added in other similar places throughout the piece. At the point where I stop, the left hand now is going to take over with figuration, accompanied rather simply by one voice in the right hand, and then we'll get into a very interesting sequential pattern that features those ornaments.
intriguing music. There's a lot in there. You notice how the texture went back to that predominant improvisatory, melismatic voice in the treble and almost dissolves into that final chord. Very interesting use of texture, which is what the keyboard can do so well, adding and taking away voices. You don't need to have an extra singer or instrumentalist to add a voice. And that way we get a sense of crescendi, diminuendi, using textural contrasts to create structure. It might be interesting to experiment with some of the Buxheim preludes in your own liturgical work or as a prelude to another larger work in a concert. It certainly creates an interesting atmosphere and helps to give a perspective of the long history of writing preludes for the organ. <laughs> 